we're going to start with one cup of oil. So I'm going to use grapeseed oil. Well, I'm going to use uh, avocado oil. But um, if I run out, I'm going to use the rest as grapeseed oil. You could use one or the other. I just have much more grapeseed oil than I have avocado oil at the moment. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add some chickpea flour. So there's one tablespoon. I'm gonna put four tablespoons. All right. Quarter of a cup of the coconut cream, coconut milk or water is fine. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla bean would be better, obviously. Or vanilla bean paste. This is a quarter of a cup. I'm just using half of a cup of date sugar this time, and I'm going to use a date syrup. All right. So I'm just going to get the dry ingredients in here. All right, so I'm gonna do two thirds of a cup spelt flour. I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup. This is the mushroom mix I used in the last brownies. If you didn't see that one, I'm just gonna use a quarter of a cup. Now this is like, this is a supplement that I take, but it is just medicinal mushroom powder. So, and then I have one more thing and I use the coffee grinder for this. And that was sarsaparilla powder. But I'm gonna sift it in because it wouldn't, it wouldn't totally powder. And that was one tablespoon of the chunks and then I powdered it. This is what the sarsaparilla looks like before I powdered it. It's just chunks of root. Not all of it looks like this and not all of it is the same flavor, but this one tastes really good. So I added about a tablespoon of it in there just to give it a little bit of a sweet earthy flavor. We need some salt, about a half teaspoon. Now this time I'm gonna mix it by hand because I don't wanna over mix it. All right, my oven is preheated, perfect. Mmm, no cocoa powder, no problem. All right, now I'm just going to pour this in here. I mangled it, it's fine. I'm just gonna pour this in here and then I'm gonna add the caramel layer on top. Oh, I'm starting to get excited. All right. All right, well, these are almost there. So popping in the oven at 350, now this took quite a long time. It took about an hour total. And I stuck it with a skewer to check it. I could tell the first few times I took it out that it was not done yet. And I slammed it on the counter to make sure it doesn't get too fluffy. You don't want it like cake. I wanted these to be pretty fudgy and not cakey. And I, it did a good job. So actually they turned out really well. So I did slam it on the counter and I took it out another time and I slammed it again. Yeah, okay, this is great. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Absolutely. All right, I think this is ready. Let's pour this on here and see how it goes. I had to be patient and let it go longer and longer. 
Let me get the right hand. Excellent. It might end up going down the edges a little bit because the brownies pulled away from the edge when they cool. And I've had them, I've had the brownies sitting all night. So I did not cool them in the fridge, I just sat them out all night. But now I'm gonna get all of it I can out of here. And then I'm gonna stick these in the fridge so that it can set. All right. All right, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and then I'm gonna lick this off. Half cup Brazil nuts. And I'm just gonna chop them up so that Is that a tablespoon? Yeah. Wow, too thick. Yeah, that looks like frosting. It's more like frosting than...
Well, look at the carnal. <laughs> want to completely go alkaline, I have a transformation program. There's a link in the description to get a hold of me and I can have a free consultation call with you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. On purpose. Peace.